Welcome to our midweek update at Kingswood Church, a United Methodist community. We're striving to be a welcoming community where all are loved. These moments together at midweek are simply ways to remind you of how important you are to us in the Kingswood family and to give you a step up. The gospel lesson for this Sunday is Mark 9, 38 to 50, but I want to focus on the first few verses. There was another person doing holy work, casting out demons, evil from the lives of people, all in the name of Jesus. The disciples stopped them and told them if they weren't in the circle of Jesus is privileged, then they could not do such work. This is a member's only right. I can almost see Jesus when he heard this, dropping his head and muttering, when will they get it? Father, give me strength. Unlike me, who might have blown his top and screamed, you bunch of idiots. Jesus calmly gives a powerful word. Don't stop him. No one who does powerful acts in my name can quickly turn around and curse me. Whoever isn't against us is for us. This affirms for me the work we're doing at Kingswood as we reach out to discover who our neighbors are in other faith communities. We're building relationships with All Saints Catholic with St. Patrick Episcopal, with St. Luke Presbyterian, and Temple Emmanuel. We're seeking to know what we have in common and affirm that which all are serving the same Christ, Son of the living God. Together, we might be able to do some great things under the Holy Spirit's leading. It is time to accept that our siblings in the neighborhood are doing the holy work of casting out demons and evil in whatever forms they present themselves. We are all members together children of God, seeking to give cups of water to all God's children in our own way. I hope we can live out these verses in the next few months and years as we join hands to be better together and to transform the world for God. Thanks be to God for this holy opportunity we have at Kingswood. Are you ready for Sunday? We'll be blessed at Kingswood Church to have Miss Kim Powell the North Georgia Conference lay leader to share God's word on Laity Sunday, this September 29th. We need you to show up either online or in person and show Kim the powerful love and the service of this amazing congregation. Gretchen Butler and her team of servants will be leading worship and lifting up the laity. Come with a friend at either 845 or 11. On Sunday, October the 6th, the next week, we're going to celebrate Holy Communion with Christians around the world. I want to encourage you to be present in person if possible to share at the table the gift of God's grace. If you're online, simply make sure you have the elements of bread and juice with you as all around the globe will share in the joy of unity and faith at the table. All Catholics, Presbyterians, Episcopalians, Lutherans, Pentecostals, Baptists, Church of God, Church of Christ, and the Pan-Methodist family, Anglicans, and all other Christians around the world will come together as one to lift up the broken body and the cup of salvation. I hope that you will be there. Later that afternoon, we're going to be offering the blessing of the animals behind the Scout House, honoring the memory of St. Francis of Assisi. Please bring your beloved pets and allow us to give thanks for them and to bless them with the love of their creator. Invite your friends to join you and to bring their fur babies and to celebrate this fun activity together. Do not forget to sign up online for Kingswood Church Acts 242 on Wednesday evenings. Sign up on the website today. Starting in October, we'll be welcoming our neighbors to dinner and to a time of learning about who God has blessed us to be in ministry with for Dunwoody. We're going to meet at 545 and the program is at 615. There are activities for children and youth provided. Finally, have you joined a small group yet? We have four excellent small group classes that meet on Sundays at 945 or 10 a.m. Today, I want to lift up to you the neighborhood class that meets in the library. Currently, they're studying the Old Testament to find what might apply to their spiritual lives today. They welcome all ages and stations of life to join them. They start at 10, in case you have children you would like to get into Sunday school. Kara Grant and Gretchen Butler help facilitate this great group of fun folks. <clears throat> Set aside the date of October the 20th. On that date, we're going to dedicate and bless our new signage, a new sign of the times, at 1215. 
We'll be blessed to have Charles and June Vroom present to help us make this great event happen. There's also going to be an open house at the Parsonage right down the street. Come see the work your trustees have done and the home that you provide for Sally and myself. Friends, so much is happening at Kingswood. Please join us and make it a priority to be in worship, in Sunday school, in small group, and all activities of growth and learning so that we might be strong disciples of Christ for his call to transform his world. Just as these preschoolers behind me who are doing so much to become little disciples, little Christ. Continue to pray for Jerry Wagner, who's recovering in Texas near MD Anderson, and for Ellen Jones, who struggles with her new knee. Thank you for the prayers for Jerry Morris as his procedure went exceedingly well. He's home recovering too. I hope you have a great week full of laughter and smiles. Share with someone the joy of coming to Kingswood Church and help them find a church home that strives to welcome them with love. As always, you are loved. You are precious to God and to me. Be blessed.